Hello friends, this video on Adolescence Part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us discuss about each of these changes in detail. So the first change is sudden increase in height. So when we talk about height, when we talk about increase in height, why do you think that height increases? Well, height increases mostly due to elongation of bones because when the bones elongate, they lengthen and that which in turn results in lengthening of height. So now when mostly height increases due to elongation of bones of the limbs, the hands and the legs. So when they elongate, so obviously the person becomes taller. Now girls and boys, both of them reach their maximum height by 18 years of age, which is towards the end of adolescence. We saw that adolescence exists from 11 to 18 or 19 years of age. So by the end of adolescence, they reach their maximum height. After that, they do not increase in height. So you would have seen it for all of us. We all do not keep increasing in height. We do not get taller every day. So initial years we were increasing in height but once we enter into our adulthood we do not our height doesn't increase any further now both girls and boys they reach their maximum height by 18 years so now let us look at the height calculation chart for both boys and girls so here you can see that this chart tells us that how much height would have increased for a boy or a girl when he is of different ages. For example, when a boy is 8 years old, he, he would have attained 72% of his full height. What do we mean by full height? So full height is the height which a person, whether a guy or a girl, is going to attain by the end of his or her adolescence. That means this is the age which will be attained by 18 years by, by the time the girl or the boy is 18 years old. So that is why this graph or this chart has the last age as 18. So by, by 18 years, both a girl as well as a boy, they attain their 100% height. That means both of them reach their maximum height by the time they are 18 years old. However, if you look at their values, you will see that in the initial years, girls appear to grow faster as compared to boys. So you see here the age, the height of girls increases faster when compared to that of boys. But at the end of 18 years, both of them reach their maximum height. However, different individuals will grow differently. Some of them will grow very gradually, some of them will grow very abruptly. So that will differ from person to person. But looking at this chart, we can also predict the final a final height or the full height of a girl or a boy if we know their present height. So how do we calculate that? So the calculation will be dependent on this. Now for example, we know that if the full height of a person is 100, then his present height would be 72 when he is 8 years old. Right? That is what it says. 72% means what? That means if the full height is going to be 100, then currently it is 72 when he is 8 years old. So that means if 72 is the present height, then what is the full height? The full height is going to be 100. So 72 is the present height. So in that case, this would be 100 would be the full height. So this is going to be the full height. So that would mean if the present height is let us say P, I don't know what is the present height. So if the present height is P, what would be the full height? It would be 100 by 72 into P. So that is the unitary method. So we can say that. So from this, what is this entire value? This is nothing but the full height. So we can say that full height will be equal to P. What was P? P was nothing but present height. So this will be equal to present height divided by 72. What is this 72? 72 is nothing but the percentage of height at that particular age. So this will be divided by the percentage of height at that particular age, at that age multiplied by 100. So this is a formula which is used to calculate or to predict the full height of a boy or a girl if we know their present height at any particular age. So let us take one example. 
So let us suppose that we know that there is a boy who is 8 years old and whose present height is, so let us say we are talking about a boy who is 8 years old and his present height is 90 centimeter. So that means when the boy is 8 years old, his height is 90 centimeter. Now we have to calculate his full height. What will be his height when he will be 18 years old? So we can make use of the same formula. So his full height or final height will be equal to present height. Present height is 90 divided by percentage of height at this age. Now this is a boy and the boy is 8 years old. So look at this graph, a boy who is 8 years old. So the percentage percentage should be 72. So this will be 72 into 100. So this comes out to be 125. So 125 centimeter would be the height of this boy when he is 18 years old. So like this we can predict the full height of a boy or a girl looking at this graph. Now this is also true that different people grow differently. So if you look at all the students in your class itself, do you think that all of you are of the same height? Not really. So when you stand in your morning assembly, you would have seen that sometimes your teachers say that stand according to your height. So the person who is standing at the front and the person who is standing at the end, there is a huge difference in their heights. However, they are both of the same age. Why is that? That is because different people grow differently. Some people, they, there is, for some people, there is sudden increase in height. Like maybe they, they were, say their height was X centimeter when they were 8 years old. Suddenly when they become 10 years old, their height increases suddenly a lot. So for some people, the increase in height is very abrupt as you can see here. Whereas for some other people, the increase is very gradual. So that means their height increases little bit at a time and gradually it keeps on increasing and they become tall. So it is not only, it not only depends from person to person. In fact, in one person also different body parts grow differently. For some people, yeah, those especially those who are in their adolescence, so some guys and girls often feel that their hands and legs have increased in height. But their face looks quite smaller. That's because different body parts grow differently. But end of the day, by the end of the adolescence period, all the body parts grow in such a way that they all look proportional. It will never happen that only your hands and your legs will increase and your face will remain the same. That never happens. So everything increases proportionally. And how, but it might happen that uh, the legs or the, the limbs increased first and then your the increase in face was, was noticeable. So those things can happen. But overall, there will be a proportional increase in different parts of the body. So increase in height was one major thing which is observed in both boys and girls. The next change is the change in voice and this becomes very evident especially in case of boys. So what may gives rise to this change in voice? Now whenever we talk about voice, which part of our body comes into action? So the voice is all because of the voice box which is also called the larynx. Where do we have larynx? In our, inside our throat. So if you look exactly at the structure inside our throat, this is where you see like from the nostrils, we breathe in through the nostrils and then whatever we breathe in that passes through the nasal cavity and then it passes through a windpipe which is called trachea. So this trachea is the windpipe. So whatever we breathe in that passes through this pipe and then reaches to the lungs. So this trachea will take it to the lungs. So the trachea starts here. Now just at that region where the trachea starts, here you see a tissue. So this tissue is called the thyroid, the thyroid gland, which is more commonly known as. We will talk about thyroid gland a little later. Just above the thyroid gland, you see this structure and this structure is the larynx, which is also called as the voice box. So larynx is responsible for the production of voice. Now why there is a change of voice when a boy enters from his childhood into his teenage? That's because 
this voice box starts growing so due to the growth of the voice box the voice becomes hoarse and you would have observed that there is a difference in the voice of girls and boys for girls the pitch is very high but it is not hoarse the voice is very uh, sweet you can say but in case of boys the voice is very hoarse because the larynx or the voice box grows a lot sometimes it grows so much that uh, in case of uh, adult boys you can see that there is a protruding part of the throat you see you can see observe this protruding part of the throat this is not evident for a small boys those who are less than 10 years old you do not observe this part in them but this is very evident once they reach into their adolescence so for adults this is very common and this protruding part of the throat is also called as adam's apple and why is this why do you have this swell, swollen portion that is because this larynx this starts expanding so when it expands too much it becomes noticeable from outside also and that is known as the Adam's apple however this larynx is smaller in case of girls and that is why you do not see this Adam's apple in case of girls and in fact that is also a reason that uh, for girls their voice is not that coarse as compared to boys so voice box is smaller in girls than boys as I said just now. So change in voice is in, again another very important uh, symptom which tells that the guy is entering into his adolescence. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.